spent our last two episodes describing different types of Rotary Clubs, so now let's tackle how to start a new club. First, you need to identify potential new club opportunities and decide what type of club you want to form and its location. Things to look for, for example, are areas of high population growth, communities with no club or where a club folded five or ten years ago, or a group of active people who might be interested in an e-club or passport club. Next, identify key stakeholders and get their buy-in. This means district executives and club leaders who might be affected by the change. A sponsoring club is not required, but highly recommended. Now it's time to find a champion and a mentor for this new club. The champion needs to be passionate, committed, influential, and willing to take charge. The mentor or advisor needs to be knowledgeable, dedicated, but also flexible, letting the new club create its own culture. Mixers, informal socials, and informational meetings to attract potential new members should come next. Advertising them as widely as possible is great, but nothing beats a personal invitation. Now it's time for an organizational meeting, which can be part social, but should also get down to making decisions about the new club's purpose and how it will operate. It's a good time to focus on a service project to jumpstart the club. When you can charter the new club, make it a big deal. Invite members from every other club in the district and maybe even some zone leaders. Surrounding clubs can donate needed startup items. Sustaining the club will be critical. Focus on fun, networking, and involving members in service projects. Help them learn about rotary opportunities outside the club. It's essential for the mentor advisor to stay involved, supporting the new club as it develops. And be sure to find out what the new members really want. A couple final cautions. Expect resistance and plan for it. Don't try to move too fast. Be flexible. Next time, we're going to dive into the issues of diversity and inclusion.